Hi friend, today we're here with the Master Welder Cart from Vulcan, which is a Harbor Freight brand. I picked up this cart, I'd say about two weeks ago. I was feeling under the weather. I'm feeling much better now. I'm almost 100%. And we have a beautiful Saturday afternoon. The shop's about 25 degrees. But getting into all these projects, from the heating into the welding and all that kind of stuff, it kind of sparked some interest in making some videos to maybe help you guys out. Uh, let me just say this too. I'm not a professional welder. I have about five to, five to six years professional experience welding both in steel and aluminum, and I grew up with a stick welder with my dad and my grandfather. I mean, they, they are both do-it-yourself kind of guys. My dad's an electrician, so I've learned a lot of skill sets from them, and uh, I, you know, I've always been working on different projects from time to time. In my professional life, I do a lot of brand development, web development, marketing, technology, cameras, videography, stuff like that. And then the other part of me is those core values, and dig. I'm not afraid to dig a ditch and get out there and get dirty. I actually enjoy that a lot because... It keeps me physical, keeps me going, and then it, it also sparks my creativity on the other side. So I kind of, there's a coalescence, I guess I would say, between the two, and I kind of live in that space of where the pavement meets the dirt road. So if that resonates with you in any way, shape, or form, maybe uh, consider subscribing. You might appreciate some of the videos that I put out. I would like to say, too, I went to uh, Home Depot today for one thing, and you know how that goes when you go to a big box store for one thing. You end up buying a bucket that you may or may not need. You put a bunch of stuff in the bucket because you were too lazy to go and get the cart. And then you have to buy all the stuff in the bucket. Or maybe you send the bucket back. Today I bought it. I refinanced my house earlier and got the 6.3 six, six, wire that I need to run to the shop. So we have a lot of exciting videos coming up. And I bounce around, like I said, between the tech and the do-it-yourself kind of stuff and, and different projects there. So if that resonates, subscribe. Have yourself a Coke and a smile. Maybe a slab of beef jerky. And let's get this uh, welding cart opened up. Many blessings. It has a welding rod organizer and easy storage hooks for hoses and cables, a top surface for secure placement of, the, of multiple machines. I think it can hold up to three machines. My idea is to have the welder on here and a plasma cutter or something like that down the road. It's supposed to have tough construction. This thing does weigh like 160 pounds. So I, I think it's gonna hold up well. Eight inch wheels on it and then four inch casters. You got an area for your shields and your, and your welding hoods. And then all of this stuff. Now, what's nice about this for me is the side, the drawers set open from the side, and everything in my shed is down the sides. So I'll be able to put some stuff in the drawers, get some stuff put away, and kind of keep all my welding stuff contained. So let's get this box opened up. Looks like it just slides, slides right up there. We got foam on the back. I don't see any dents yet, which is good. Throw that back here. Throw this right here. Oh man, the drawers, the drawers aren't dented. Go figure, right off the bat. So, I wonder if that's replaceable. That's, that's all kicked in. Man, I really don't feel like taking it back. That's, that's what you can expect sometimes. Drawers feel pretty nice. Got an insert. I mean, man, every time I go to do something, I, I kind of expected this. You see that big dent right here? I don't know, Harbor Freight. I don't know. Maybe I'll see if the drawer is replaceable. Maybe it's something easy I can take apart to get them to replace the door. We'll see. Either way, I think I'm going to get this thing set up because I really don't have time to mess around and take this thing back and then get another one. We'll see what they do there. That's disappointing right off the bat. And if you notice, there wasn't much damage in front of the box. So was it was it put in there like that? You got a handle. welding rod holders. We might have to drill those out a little bit bigger. We'll see. I have an idea for that. Chains to hold the bottles and your keys. Let's see what's in this drawer here. All right. Instruction manual. That's a shame. I can always punch that out, push it out, but I guess those are the casters. All right, so this is the the tray that holds the bottles. Benchmade bug out for those of you guys and girls that are asking. 
So this will go and bolt to the bottom, and then there you hold the wheels. We'll get rid of some of this cardboard to get this stuff out of the way. Brand new, 350 bucks. I did use the 10% coupon on this. I think it's 369 bucks, but I did use the 10% coupon they had. I guess with anything, you know, shipping or whatever, but it'd be nice to double check stuff. Kind of bums me out. The handle here feels good. Has like a little rubber coating on it. Pretty solid handle. I plan on doing some modifications to this cart, and I was going to build my own, and then I, for, the, for the sake of not having the time, I'm still bummed out about that door. Man, can't catch a break. Alright, so first things first, you don't want to use the Phillips screws they give you. This is actually, they're bolts for the handle. They're 10 millimeters, and it looks as though the, uh, the metal on this one wasn't cut out right, so I had to take a file and clean it up. So there's maybe a little bit of quality control there, but so for certain tools, I've kind of had good luck with Harbor Freight for things, certain things that I need. Others not so much, and this one won't even tighten down. This one's not even tightening down. Maybe, maybe I made a mistake. This top bolt isn't going in for now. I'll weld that thing on if I have to. It may be worth even putting some Loctite on these. We gotta move right along here. We'll get our gas bottle brackets hooked up. All right, so we swapped you around to the back. We're just gonna put these welding rod holders on. Two inch and a quarter, or inch and an eighth holes, and two inch and a half holes. Uh, you may want to Consider picking up one of these little Klein magnetize for your screwdriver. You can just swipe that on there. Now your screwdriver becomes magnetized. It'll hold your, your screws on to fit it through here and keep it connected. Well, kind of keep it connected. There we go. A little easier to fit that through without losing the screw. We need to demagnetize it. You just run that through then and it, it'll de demagnetize it. So that's pretty cool. The little Klein magnetizer. Alright, we got two more arms. So we'll throw those on real fast. You may or may not want to put these on first, based on the fact if you have to lay the cart over to, to work on it or to get these bottom ones on, you might push these in a little bit. But for right now I'm just putting it all together as best I can to get it done. All right, so this side here, three screws, three screws that holds the gas bottles. Let's see what screws we have left. I am going to throw a dab of Loctite on all of them, just so that they don't come loose on the bottom. I'm not really worried about the sides as much. So the scratches on this, no big deal. The powder coating is actually pretty decent on this cart. The metal feels pretty heavy, heavy duty. The cart weighs a good bit, so... I think it's going to be good all in all. So we got our four inch casters that are locking, which is nice. We'll get those on. We've got a 14 millimeter bolt. I did throw some Loctite on them and we got a lock washer as well. And we'll snug those down. So that's those two. We've got the two casters. Eight inch wheels. They feel pretty solid. Eight inch by 1.75. Not too bad. Throw these on. Run a little axle. Then we got little axle nuts here. So we got our one wheel on. Let's lift this up here. Get our other wheel on. Throw the washer on. Pretty simple. A little lock washer, might even be worth throwing some Loctite on that, and we'll tighten that down. I believe that is going to be 14 as well, and that it is, so we'll tighten that down real fast. Tighten this one up. 
All right, so me personally, I use glass cleaner for like everything. Microfibers and glass cleaner are my go-tos in the shop, both technology, whatever else. We'll wipe this thing down. Like I said, the uh, finish isn't too bad. It's, it's actually it feels like a pretty good finish. I think it, overall it's a great cart. We'll wipe this off here. You can see some dirt on the bottom there. That all cleans up really nice. Don't see too many defects. You know, a couple little spots in the paint and stuff, but it's it's pretty thick. It's gonna get beat up anyway. Wipe that off. We'll grab the uh, chains here. Last step. And there we got our chains. And let's wipe the front off again. All right, friends. So where do we finish up here? I'm a little bit disappointed about the door being pushed in and the handle not really connecting right with the one bolt being loose and kind of being stripped. Other than that, it's a solid cart. I think Harbor Freight did a good job for, for the cost of the cart. There's other carts out there. You could build your own. You get your casters, I think, for the time, the value. It's not too bad. You got the chains, holds two tanks, two bottles. I think it's going to hold the weight. It's, it's going to be mobile. The drawers feel pretty good. You got your separator in here, which is loose. You might even want to tack weld that down so it doesn't move. But I'll show you that. And the drawers push shut, so they, they hold shut. I wish they would have put a lock here to be able to lock them completely. If you're in a shop with multiple people, you might want to lock your gear up or lock your welding hoods and stuff in there. Other than that, not too bad. This drawer here, this one locks. It has two shelves and four rows to store shelves, and you've got a little bit of trays here in the door, which is nice. Overall, I think they did a good job. I'll see what they'll do on this, on this door for me. Maybe it can be replaced. Maybe they'll want to replace the whole cart. But other than that, I think it's a, a good build. What you'll need is a 10 millimeter socket or a 10 millimeter wrench, a 14 millimeter socket or wrench, maybe some Loctite would be a good thing to have, and a Phillips screwdriver. You could put this together and probably, if you're rushing, maybe 10 minutes, and if you're taking your time and doing it, probably 15 minutes or so. Other than that, pretty easy build, pretty easy to put together. I'm gonna get the bottles, maybe we'll set the bottles on here, get them out of the way. I think it's gonna work well, because I can run this long ways down my shed, have some storage, keep all my welding stuff together, it'll be on the go. So if you want to learn more about this cart or have any specific questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to try to answer. Overall, I think it's a, it's going to work out well for me. I think this is going to be good. So stay tuned for more videos. I appreciate you. I hope you're doing well. We'll talk to you soon in the next Pixel.